to um, Module 4, Lesson 3, and our objective today is to interpret a fraction as division. So this is a continuation from yesterday. We're going to keep looking at fractions and thinking about them as if they were division. So go right to your problem set and write your name. Thank you. Okay. The first one is done for you. Fill in the chart. So first of all, we have our division expression, 5 divided by 14, okay? So we're going to think about that as 20 fourths divided by 4, okay, which equals 5 fourths. So 20 fourths divided by 4 equals 5 fourths, okay? And how do we write that as an improper fraction? Well. 5 over 4. As a mixed number, 1 and 1 fourth. And then we're going to practice by actually doing the division and seeing what our remainder is in fractions, and then we're going to check it. Okay, so let's do the next one. First, here's our equation. 3 divided by 2. Okay, so I need to figure out 6 twos, that equals 3, right? or six halves divided by two. So six halves divided by two equals what? Three halves, right? Three over two. And our fraction then is three halves. And as a mixed number, that would be one and one half. Are you seeing that all of these things equal each other? Let's um, do the actual division. So 3 divided by 2 equals 1. And then we're going to multiply. 1 times 2 is 2. Subtract. We have 1 left over. Okay, so that's not a, um, that's not a remainder. That's 1 half. 1 half. Let's check our math. So if we multiply 2 times 1 and 1 half, that equals 1 half plus 1 half, which equals 1 and 1 is 2, and a half and a half is 2 halves, that equals 3. Okay? So, here we did our division and then we checked our division. Four times two and a half, so I'm sorry, two times one and a half, so this times this. And if we did it correctly, it should equal that. And it did. Good. C. 24 fourths. So that looks like that. 24 fourths divided by four equals six fourths. Right? Six-fourths. Six-fourths, so that means six divided by four. Okay, six over four. Six-fourths, and if we're going to make that into a, um, a mixed fraction, this is improper. As a mixed fraction, it's one and two-fourths, and you could even call that one and one-half because they equal each other. Then we do the division and six divided by four. Well, four goes into six two times. No, I'm sorry. Ooh. This is why we check our problems. Four into six goes one time. One times four is four. Subtract, we have two left over. That equals two fours, okay? So, or one half. Now let's do our math. So we're going to multiply four times one half. Four times one and one half equals four times four, and then four times a half is four halves, which equals two. Instead, I'm going to write that down here. So I have four plus, and you know that four over two equals two, which equals six. So six divided by four equals one half. 
4 times 1 half equals 6. Great. Okay. Now, 5 divided by 2. 5 halves, 2 and a half. So, we want to make this. This is tricky for me. It's halves divided by 2 equals 5 halves. So that would be, uh -huh, 10 halves, 10 halves divided by 2 equals 5 halves. Okay, 5 over 2, 2 and a half. Let's try the division. 5, this one is the, this box is the trickiest box for me because I'm not used to thinking about things in, in unit form, I didn't learn that way when I was little, but you guys are learning it, and I do think it's helpful. Uh, 5 divided by 2, so 2 goes into 4, I'm sorry, 5, 2 times, 2 times 2 is 4, minus 1, then we have, so that equals 1 remainder is 1 half, right, and I'm going to multiply these to see if I get 5. 2 times 2 and a half equals 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times uh, 1 half is 2 halves. And that equals 5. Pen got a little crazy on me there. Okay, equals 5. Good! Okay, so we're thinking about fractions as division. Fractions as division. Number two, now we're getting into some story problems. A principal evenly distributed six reams of copy, copy paper to eight fifth graders. Okay, so how many reams of paper does each fifth grader receive? Explain how you know using pictures, words, or numbers. So we're going to draw pictures first. We have six reams of copy paper, three, four, five, six, and we have um, eight fifth graders. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fifth graders. So we've got six divided by eight. Well, we know that 6 divided by 8 is 6 eighths, or 3 fourths. But for the sake of uh, argument here, we're just going to split this into 8. Okay, 2, 3, 4, there's 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. Eight. And I'm going to give one to this person, one to that person, one, 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 until that person has how many of those? Six eighths. Okay? Six eighths. And each person gets six eighths then. Explain how you know using pictures, words, or numbers. So there was our, um, there's our numbers. And there's our picture. We can also show it with um, by actually doing the division. So eight, I'm sorry, six, six divided by eight. Well, we're not going to get a whole number. That's why we don't have a whole number there. It's just a fraction. It's just three-fourths. So I'm going to have to add a zero. Eight goes into 60 how many times? Go in there seven times. Seven times eight is 56. Subtract and I get four. I'm going to bring down another zero and that goes five times 0.75. We know that 0.75 or 0.75 hundredths equals three fourths. All right, that's an equivalent fraction. Okay, lots of ways to show this. 
So if you have another way, you can go ahead and show me that too. If there were twice as many reams of paper and half as many teachers, how would the amount each teacher receive change? So twice as many paper, so here we go, six papers, and we're going to multiply that by two. And then we're going to divide that by teachers, half as many teachers, so we're going to take the eight and we're going to make that into four. Eight divided by two, okay, equals... All right, do you see what I did there? So I doubled the numbers of the reams of paper. This is, a, this is a, a poor school where the teachers don't have much paper, and this is a rich school where the teachers have lots of paper. Um, so I doubled the numbers of the papers, and I divided the numbers of teachers, and I've got 12 divided by 4, okay, equals, well, 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Okay, do you see how I did that? I like using numbers, but we can use uh, pictures too if you want. So, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 reams, and now we've only have four teachers, three, four, so we're going to, these three are going to this person, these three are going to that person, these three are going to this person, and these three go to that person, okay? So here we did it with pictures and numbers, number three. A caterer has prepared 16 trays of hot food for an event. The trays are placed in warming boxes for delivery. Each box can hold five trays. Okay, so we have 16 trays of hot food for an event. How many warming boxes are necessary for delivery if the caterer wants to use as few boxes as possible? Explain how you know. Okay, we have 16 trays, and each box can hold five. So our answer would be three remainder one, right? But we can't have remainders, so you would actually need four boxes, wouldn't you? So let's draw a picture, okay? 16 over 5, right? So we have 16, okay, let's see. I'm going to prove my work by putting four boxes and see if I was right. Four boxes, and I'm going to put five trays in each one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that's five plus five plus five is 15. And then one more box for the last one, 16. Okay, 16 trays. So he'll have to take four. I probably, though, to distribute evenly, I would probably put four in each one so that the other foods could keep each other warm, right? So four and, so instead I would do four, 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 and four, which also equals 16. Okay, how do I know? Well, you can write that in your own words. If the caterer fills boxes completely before filling the next box, what fraction of the last box will be filled? Okay, well, we just figured that out. Okay, we just figured that out. So 16 over 5, or 16 divided by 5, equals 3 and 1 fifth, right? So 1, 2, 3, and 1 fifth. Perfect. Okay, your homework is more of the same. Fill in all of the columns, do your best, take your time, show all of your work, 
And then the second page is more questions, uh, very similar to the ones we just did. There's only two pages of homework. And your exit ticket is the same, except you have to fill in all of the boxes yourself, okay? A baker made nine cupcakes, each a different type. Four people want to share them equally. Okay, but four people want to try each of the nine. So you're going to have to do nine divided by four, okay? How many cupcakes will each person get? Fill in the chart to show how you solve the problem. I just gave you that. I shouldn't have even given you that much. You're so lucky that I'm your teacher. Okay, so fill out your exit ticket, fill it in. Do your homework, fill that in. And that was interpreting fractions as division. Have a great rest of your day.